Hypixel, the dreary old man of Minecraft servers, with people mastering their games with sweats, ruining every experience, will MCC Island be a fresh start with a variety of games and- Oh, it's 1.9 PvP. Bollocks. <laughs> Created by the Knox crew, who will always have a personal place of nostalgia for me, as the original Terra Street 4 Minecraft Adventure map was the first Minecraft one I ever downloaded off the internet, but that's just a side tangent. It has a wide variety of games that are actually active instead of solely Bedwars and Skywars. MCC Island provides an experience for even for those who aren't sweaty and have never touched grass in their entire existence. Parkour Warrior is up first, as it walks you through a bunch of the minuscule little parkour maps categorised as elite, with a handful of checkpoints scattered along the way to make your experience just that tiny bit less infuriating. However, of course, it's a competition. You're up against other players, and the clock. As if the clock runs out, you lose plenty of hearts. And when you lose all of them, well, what do you think happens? You get eliminated. Which, of course, uh, I wasn't aware of when I first played, and so I just tried to tackle the jumps as slowly as I physically could have. And, uh, yeah, we, 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 you can guess how that went. With this knowledge, you would think, oh, I'll speed up, right? No, because speeding up, shockingly, makes you fail more because you're panicking and shaking, like how I vent about here. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking. I'm actually shaking. I am, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it. Holy. Why am I shaking this much over Minecraft? What the f So it's all about hitting the right balance as closely as you can. Of which, the right balance I could hit was uh, just over halfway. Yeah, didn't even finish. Next on the chopping block was to get to 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 get to toss to to get to toss to get to to get to the other side. You speed bridge and whack chickens. You parkour and whack chickens. You be an absolute twat and punch people away from said chickens. And then end the day with can you guess? even more whacking chickens. Of course, in the fucky events that you see YouTubers play, um, these chickens are player skins, but in this case, we don't massively worry about that because, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber and um, we're not playing in the actual event. Battle box. This is where I needed to somehow self-teach myself 1.9 PVP. As a Hypixel main, 1.8 is my thing. I am used to blooming murdering my fingers, slamming down the left click as fast as humanly possible. And I need to unlearn all of that. You need to adjust to not just spam clicking every button possible. You need to actually have some thought behind the PvP. Which sucks! Because thinking is not something I do very often. And that means that I lost pretty much every game I could have. I mean, I, I got excited at a singular kill! One singular kill! And with Battlebox in mind, I figured I couldn't go on this journey entirely on my own. I needed a team. I could call and communicate with. Here we have Frosty, Jeremy, and Jacefer, the absolute dream team for these MCC mini games. So, once I had compiled my team, I introduced them to the games previously mentioned, and then hopped onto Hole in the Wall as preparation, a little warm up, if you will, for the inevitable battle box shenanigans that were going to commence. We developed a strategy of just yelling out which direction the massive blooming walls are coming from, but of course, just dodging them isn't as easy as that. The walls get faster and more complex, forcing you to jump over and through parts of the wall instead of just dodging them. Oh, and there are also fireballs and other just absolutely brilliant modifiers, like modifiers that spawn in zombies and spiders and villagers to hit you and force you off the platforms. And turns out, other games on this server have modifiers like this too. As in the game that's terribly difficult to pronounce, you have modifiers like early chickens, which lets you finish the game way too early, and double time, which puts like swiftness 5 billion on you and makes it impossible to maneuver anywhere. So once Hole in the Wall was completed, we moved back to Battle Box, which as it turns out, wasn't just me being shoddy at the game, but rather literally everyone else being shoddy at playing the game too, as once again, 1.9 PvP are uh, not our thing. If we wanted even a chance at winning one singular round, let alone the whole blooming game, we needed to train. 
which would have been the smart way about it, but instead we figured we'd move on to Sky Battle instead. <laughs> Sky Battle is literally just Sky Wars, which was great. We played Sky Wars, right? And to be fair to us, we didn't fare all too badly. Bridging, of course, doesn't change between versions, and we've had plenty of experience tackling that. However, once again, the PvP side threw us all off, though this time we had other perks and things to give us the edge, like better armor, TNT blocks, and other brilliant additions to hopefully allow us to, in the future, win a game. But not win a game soon enough to make a cut for this video, that is. MCC Island is genuinely an absolutely phenomenal server, and what gives it the edge over Hypixel is the fact that it has an actual user interface, and not just slash party invite. However, this doesn't come without its flaws. It's one flaw. Is that it uses the inferior PvP system!